President Vladimir Putin has warned against throwing the entire system of international law out of balance as he addressed the American people and politicians in a New York Times article. Uh, this threat to the established order may well happen, according to the Russian leader, if indeed Washington proceeds with its planned strikes against Syria. Uh, joining me live now, uh, live now Artie's uh, Sean Thomas coming on the program this morning. Uh, good to see you, Sean. So ultimately, I suppose, if world leaders are turning a deaf ear to your concerns, take your argument to the public. Well, certainly an interesting development, Rory. This article was strong but full of hope from President Vladimir Putin in the New York Times. It was called a plea for caution from Russia, and it directly addressed the American people in what Putin calls a time of insufficient communication between societies. Now, he talked about the UN and the need for international stability. He also talked about how a United States-led strike would put innocent lives at stake. It would spread the conflict derail peace efforts between Israel and Palestine. It would hamper discussions about the Iranian nuclear problem. It would promote terrorism and destabilize the region entirely. Now, he also talked about how unilateral action would be seen under the UN Charter as an act of aggression and talked about the importance of acting within international law. Here were his words. If you cannot count on international law, then you must find other ways to ensure your security. Thus, a growing number of countries seek to acquire weapons of mass destruction. This is logical. If you have the bomb, no one will touch you. We're left with talk of the need to strengthen non-proliferation, when in reality, this is being eroded. One thing the president also talked about was the idea of the culture of military intervention into foreign internal conflicts being alarming and asking the question, why does America want to repeat the mistakes of the past, invoking the memory of Iraq and Afghanistan, which is currently still going on. Now, on the need to consider the UN investigation, which we are still waiting results from, he uh, basically brought up the idea that we're not yet sure who exactly used uh, these weapons, these chemical weapons, uh, and these were his words. No one doubts the poison gas was used in Syria, but there is every reason to believe it was used not by the Syrian army, but by opposition forces to provoke intervention by their powerful foreign patrons who would be siding with the fundamentalists. Reports that militants are preparing another attack, this time against Israel, cannot be ignored. Now, uh, these reports that the president mentions, we've been reporting it on it here on RT from local sources on the ground, RT sources, that an attack on Israel from the rebels could happen using chemical weapons, and that's something that he is discussing there. Now, President Putin quoted President Obama on the idea of American exceptionalism, warning that that is a very dangerous idea. Uh, and he, in fact, invoked the idea of the American Declaration of Independence, stating that while there may be big countries and small countries, poor countries and rich countries, that all countries are indeed created equal. But still, Vladimir Putin uh, is hopeful for diplomacy. He talked about his relationship both personally and professionally with President Obama and said that it is one that is marked with growing trust, and he appreciates that. So right now, Vladimir Putin addressing the American people directly and hoping for diplomacy to win out. All right, Artie Zoshan Thomas there, right outside the Kremlin. Thank you.